are here at Chef Art Smith's homecoming. We're about to head inside for dinner. Yeah, dinner. Dinner. Chef Art Smith's homecoming. We are going to be having ourselves a wonderful dinner. Now, so this is a down-home southern-style kitchen. Uh, they specialize in fried chicken and moonshine cocktails, whiskeys, uh, of which we have ordered several. We've been here before, but uh, we're definitely kind of going all out tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and try the fried green tomato. And it is served with a remoulade and shaved smoked ham. The flavors on this are wonderful. Delicious. Now I have the church lady deviled egg. Now we had deviled eggs at uh, Edison the other day. The, they, they weren't my favorite. This, however, look at that. Amazing. Take the bacon first. Mm. Mm. The best deviled egg anywhere. Anywhere. Hands down. Completely. All right, so our, our friend Mike ordered the turkey chili. Give you a little view of the spoon here. It has whole pieces of turkey. It's not ground turkey. That is flavor packed. That is delicious. It is meaty. I mean, when you look at the menu for this place, you think, okay, well, it's just comfort food. But I mean, this is like comfort food to the next level. It is incredible. Now, the, the turkey chili came with fried corn fritter. Drop the little piece. And it smells amazing. It's It smells sweet. There's so much different texture in there. That's very good. Des had some of that. She can comment. I need that for breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> I totally had that for um, It's like cream corn, almost. It's, it, it's not as creamy as a cream corn, like a true cream corn, but it, it's pretty close. And it's super, super sweet. Delicious. So Des, um, what drink did you get? Sangria. And that's made with uh, moonshine. The hot sauce. Yeah, peach moonshine. Oh yeah. Moscato. And some kind of juice. And there's a moonshine soaked peach in there. Yeah. And what do you think of it? Very good. I forgot there was Moscato in it, so I was like, why does it taste like bubbly? And I was like, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> I got the blood orange moonshine something or other title here. It smells really good. It's got strawberry. That's a really tasty cocktail. It's made with Old Smoky moonshine, which we were at Old Smoky when we went to Tennessee. So that's really cool. All right, well, I got Art Smith's famous fried chicken. 
And instead of having mashed potatoes, I did get the collard greens and kale. Kale and collard greens is how it's listed. We also got a side of mac and cheese for extra. Oh my god, the cheese is like crusted on the side of it. Des, and she got the fried chicken as well, but she got boneless got chicken boneless. breasts. Yes, yeah, so you can get boneless. It is an option. Absolutely. Mike, he got a Cuban sandwich. Trevor is now trying. Is it everything you hoped for? Oh yes. And now that has his house smoked ham on it, correct? Yes, it does. It's uh, really good. And the bread is pretty light. Not too it's about the It's about the ham, though. I think the ham and the pickles. And the pickles, and I well, believe is it is a homemade mustard. Maybe? I don't remember. I'll take a look. No, <laughs> but it's really good. No. Now, you're not second-guessing yourself now, right? No. Excellent. Of course, I'm making a reservation when I get home for his restaurant back in Chicago, so I can have fried chicken. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> I, the part that I'm not second guessing is this. Thank you for that other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take that chance when you have it, right? <laughs> Des, how is your chicken? I'm good, thank you. Awesome. She was speechless because she was chewing. Now, hang on a second. We have this mac and cheese. Yeah. You are the mac and cheese connoisseur. We've established this. I am a mac and cheese connoisseur. Go ahead and dig into that. I'm a mac and cheese connoisseur. I'm a pepperoni pizza connoisseur. I'm a french fry connoisseur. <laughs> it's got a healthy layer of melted cheese. Happy we got it? Excellent. So, again, I got the kale and collard greens. They're slightly spicy. They're a bit sweet. They're not overcooked, it's not mush. It's a great texture. It's a wonderful flavor. It's a great side. And of course, we have the chicken. So I got a little piece here. I'm gonna go for that. And we have the house hot sauce. A little bit on there. Oh yes. <laughs> That's it right there. Yeah. That's top tier chicken. Dinner at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming in Disney Springs. So, what do you think of this? Chicken. It is, yeah, there's a lot of chicken. Now, this is the <laughs> second time we've done this one, I think, right? Yes. Okay, so we were with friends. We were able to share our appetizers around. Um, Des has certain food allergies, so she couldn't partake in everything. Right. Uh, but you did have some, so you mm -hmm. had the... And the fried green tomatoes with the ham on the top. Yes, the house smoked shaved ham. Yes, and there's a, a romalade, am I saying that right? A romalade sauce. It's basically a, sauce, a, but a mayonnaise base. Right, that usually comes on the top, but we got it on the side because mm -hmm. of an allergy I have. Right, uh, so I did have that, and I the romalade is very good. Uh, it's not like any other, like, I don't know, something you'd buy in a store. It, they make it in-house. And it tastes like it. Uh, it's it's very rich, creamy, and it complemented the dish well. The uh, the tomatoes were not overcooked. They were uh, slightly firm, which you would want for for a fried tomato because if it's just oily mush, that's gross. Yeah. Uh, they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend it. Uh, the Church Lady deviled eggs, some of the best deviled eggs I've ever had that are available for purchase anywhere. The only time I've ever had it better was a homemade and 
you're not getting them. So it's just, <laughs> that, that's that's really it. So if you um, want something close, go to Shepherd's Nest. Yeah, really, really good. Um, and Heads and Tails better than what we had at the Edison. So if you're looking for really good deviled eggs, that's where you want to go. Go go to Art Smith, and you are getting six halves at Art Smith's, whereas you are only getting. Um, four halves, so two eggs, at the Edison uh, for comparable pricing, so uh, better value at Artsmiths as well. Mm -hmm. uh, our friends also ordered some turkey chili. That is some of the best turkey chili I've ever had. Uh, it's whole turkey, not ground turkey, so you're getting like really meaty pieces and it was done very well. Um, you can't go wrong, I think, with any of the appetizers available. Those are the ones that we, we did taste today. Dinner, we both got fried chicken, because that's what you get when you go to Mark Smith's, oh, most yeah, likely fried to. chicken. Uh, I had the regular style bone-in chicken. You can get it boneless, as Des did. Yep, I had um, boneless chicken breasts. You can also get the chicken tenders. I think they said a couple, one or two mm -hmm. other things as well. You can get white, dark. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have a lot of options if you have a preference what type of chicken you want to get. Uh, but it was crisp, it was moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but it was. It was moist. juicy, it was very, very good. Uh, extremely flavorful and not salty. That's very important when it comes to the fried food. It was not salty. It was any not of it. salty at all. Um, you can substitute the mashed potatoes for any other side if you like. And you can substitute the cheesy drop biscuits for um, hush puppies or donuts. Well, so would they're you? bread. They're all good. That's the thing. Um, so you I have love options. the biscuits. The biscuits are very good. Uh, our friend Mike had the Cuban sandwich, which also featured that smoked ham, and he was very pleased with having that. So um, while we didn't taste it, I have tasted that ham, and it is excellent. So again, uh, two of the really, really great dishes that you can get from uh, Chef Art Smith's. Desserts. Uh, they're famous for their hummingbird cake. I decided to order something different this evening. Now, you may notice that we didn't display any of it. That's because we were just so full. We didn't eat it yet. We didn't eat it. <laughs> we brought it back to our room. We will be eating that. We'll comment on that uh, some other time. Uh, but instead of the hummingbird cake, I did get the shine cake, which is a butter cake soaked in a moonshine syrup that they make. Uh, so that should be really interesting and I'm looking forward to trying that. But it's just so much food and it's now very late. We just couldn't eat it. Uh, Chef Art Smith's definitely a place that we recommend. Oh, highly recommend. Especially, especially for, for this uh, down home Southern style cooking. Yes. Uh, a lot of places are available in Walt Disney World that have, you know, basic fare that would be like meatloafs and chicken and things like that, but this is taking it to a next level. Definitely good. <laughs> uh, we really enjoyed Art Smith's. We'd like to know what you think of Art Smith's. Uh, have you been there? Do you have any questions about it? Leave us a comment in the comment section down below. We want to hear from you guys. And also, hey. don't forget to hit that notifications icon to be notified of any videos once we post them, and we'd love to share that with you. Uh -huh. Share this with your friends. Yeah. Share with people that aren't your friends. That's just randomly share it. But yeah. <laughs> Never met someone? Just send them a message. It'd be fun. Yeah. They'd be like, who's this? Oh, this is a cool video. Let me watch it. Yeah. And I hope you make friends. <laughs> Wonderful going. evening. We're going to bed. We're going to bed. <laughs> Thank you very much for spending this evening with us. And we hope to see you again. On our next adventure. Good night, everybody.